Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another read today. Happy Wednesday, too, by the way. It's a really great day. Trying to be productive. I hope you guys are having a really, really great Wednesday. So I'm going to just pull some cards just to see what shows up. And of course, this is for all signs, the collective, the whole world, or for whoever, you know, finds this video. But yeah, I hope that it resonates. But unfortunately, it will not resonate with everyone to um, get a personal read or, you know, just to check in on your own energy you can book a read with me the only thing that i ask is that you um basically have some type of simple greeting with your submission y'all if not i would not respond back so yeah that's pretty much it so i'm gonna start off with the cards we got a knight of pentacles that showed up y'all so there could be some type of offer i'm not going to take it because i didn't even really i was just shuffling the cards or whatever but I ain't really, you know, get into that mode of like asking for information or insight for y'all. But yeah, Knight of Pentacles, this could be you or another person. It looks like there is some type of offer. Um, I do see a new beginning here as well with the full card showing up. So definitely something to look forward to if you are in this energy of, you know, receiving. Okay, so let's see. Tell me more for the collective. Oh, so we got the Lover's card, the Six of Pentacles that's showing up here too. Um, but you know what, y'all? Something had happened to me this morning. And it's like I gave myself unnecessary anxiety, worry, and fear for no apparent reason. But, and I'm not even going to say what it was. I feel kind of crazy even thinking that it happened. But, um... <laughs> Listen, stop expecting the worst that happened. Like, stop. I don't even get why people even watch these reads. It's like you are mad because someone's being positive and saying that something good is coming. And you're sitting there saying like, oh, this never happens or, you know, nothing good is going to happen or it's like, stop. Why even watch? My reads are to like inspire you, to uplift you, to motivate you. And it's coming from a genuine place too. So it's like, why even say that? Because I'm not speaking that over your life. So why would you do that to you? And I didn't even know half of y'all. It's like, I don't know. It's just really, really, really confusing to me. But we do have the lover's card, six of pentacles. This could be some type of new partnership here. I see like an equal give and take. The divine is definitely um, bringing this together for whatever it is for somebody here. With the lover's card and a six of pentacles that's coming out too. So, yeah, this looks really good. Some really exciting news. Yeah, the divine is definitely all over this. I just seen a hair font card that showed up. This could be something that you have been praying for, too, with the hair font card that's coming out. So, yeah, okay. So, tell me more for all signs. We got the Wheel of Fortune card, y'all. So, things are changing. I feel like you're needing to be flexible because that's what I'm hearing, too. But with this Four of Pentacles that's coming out, too, for somebody... There could be something, because I feel like the wheel is turning, right? But it's like a, um, it could be like a stubborn type of energy, too, with that four of pentacles. There could be something that you could be needing to let go. Tell me more for all signs. Seven of pentacles. I see some type of investment here, too. I see some things changing for someone this could be like financially as well but this is something that you have been like patiently waiting for y'all you know i was talking about a confirmation that's going to be showing up for some people it's like things that you have been asking for y'all you've been asking a higher power a higher source whoever you believe in you've been asking for some things to change for you it's coming in we got the ace of swords that came out at the bottom of the deck yeah this is some type of breakthrough that's happening for someone with this ace of swords and a hair front card showing up again so it's like whatever you've been asking for i'm seeing it too where someone has been like on their knees like y'all not someone has been like basically on their knees like praying like asking the divine for something for some type of breakthrough i should have worded that wrong excuse me y'all what in the world tell me about the lovers for um all signs we got a fire sign I see the star card as the will. Um, not a pentacle. Someone's like wealthy. That been showing up a lot. Whatever they do for work or career, like someone's like very generous, very abundant here as well. Um, 
Let's see. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Five of Swords. Oh, you know what it is? And it's 11 and 11, y'all, on the clock. Look at this. Hopefully, y'all can see this. 11, 11. 11, 11 could be very, very significant if you've been seeing that number. But this Five of Swords came out. There's mental conflict, though, surrounding this change. Or um, I've been seeing, like, a lot of, like, great fortune or, like, good fortune, too. See, with this Wheel of Fortune... Things are changing for someone. It's like maybe you felt like you were always unlucky or something. Yeah, it's like, but even though I don't really believe in luck, it's just the um, analogy that I'm getting right here with this Wheel of Fortune card. It's like you, <laughs> I can definitely resonate with this though. It's like maybe the type of person who, it's like every so often you gamble or buy like scratch off cards or whatever, and you always say you never win. But it's like that one day you decide or you get some type of intuitive nudge to do something or to buy a scratch off, you win some money. So yeah, just know that the wheel is turning in your favor. It's like luck is on your side. Tell me about, but the, what the Five of Swords is like, there's some type of mental conflict here in regards to things i feel like um for some of you guys you could be telling yourself that same old story like i was talking about in the beginning of the um read where these people on here it's like why even click on a tarot read if you're gonna be upset or i don't know it's almost like it's a crime to even be positive or to try to uplift people but you can't save everybody and listen the eight of swords page of swords so the mental here is definitely an issue. It's that, like that lack um, mentality or a worry type of mentality that's showing up here too. I'm going to see what this page of swords is. I feel like um, with this energy that's showing up here with the seven of pentacles and the eight of swords... For some of you guys, you have invested in something and it's like, it could be, you may feel like it's moving kind of slow and maybe you feel like things, things will never change for you or something won't turn around in your favor, but that's not true because the divine sees that the hard work that you've been putting in with the seven of pentacles and what you've been asking for, because I feel like whoever this is, it's like you've already planted the seeds, right? And it's like the money's there, but it's not really what you want it to be. So I feel like you're you're in your head, whatever you're asking for or something that you could be wanting to change, it's gonna be coming in. So try not like try to get out of your head about um something that you could be wanting to see some type of progress in. Cause it could actually change overnight, seriously, from what I'm seeing here too. So it's like all in divine timing as a will. But usually with my reads, this could be something that's currently going on or something that is about to happen. Tell me about this page of swords for all signs. Ooh. Yeah, king of pentacles. There's resources that's coming in. This could be, I'm hearing too, like investor with this king of pentacles. So you could have someone who's watching you. Someone could be wanting to partner up with you in regards to a... Um, this could be like a business partnership. This could be like, you know, a romantic type of situation too, y'all. It could be both, honestly. Yeah, the divine is definitely bringing in some type of um, assistance here towards someone. But it's like, you're in your head. So it's like, you may not even, you may think that, um, <coughs> excuse me, you may think that it's kind of like too good to be true. It's like, I'm not taking this. Especially if it's about money. I feel like someone's in that mindset. It's like, I don't know. It's I feel like um, you could be needing to change your mindset, possibly surrounding like money or you receiving some type of help. You receiving help. Tell me about this page of swords. Look, queen of pentacles. We got the chariot. So I do see movement that's happening as well. With the Queen of Pentacles and we got the King of Pentacles too. Yeah, someone could already be in business or someone could be um like watching you work or something. Yeah, High Priestess. This energy is like hidden. So you may not even know what the High Priestess is showing up here because it clarified the Page of Swords. Oh, this could be too, this could also too be someone that you're um, spiritually connected with. 
with the high priestess showing up here and we got the lover's card as well yeah someone that you're um spiritually connected with y'all and this could be on different levels this could be you know someone that you're meant to go into business with or it could be a relationship or a partnership like romance for somebody it could be both but it's meant for um you and this person to come together tell me more about the page of swords for all signs, yeah, page of wands, expect some type of communication. You know, I always be saying it, y'all, but it be happening for some people. So just being this energy of expecting um, with the page of wands and the eight of wands too. So yeah, it looks like someone could be wants to reach out. Um, I'm getting heavy like social media as well. We got the Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords. So, yeah, somebody moving kind of funny. Someone's moving in silence. It's like a silence type of energy, but also, too, it's like a secret, like very secretive. Someone's moving like very, um, not like really funny, but it's just like they are holding on to some type of information. Basically, the energy I'm getting, y'all, it's like someone who could be watching you and there's a spiritual connection but you may not really know. It's like maybe you don't really have that confirmation. I feel like that's coming in. And it's coming in as some type of like message or communication. Let's see. Tell me, <coughs> tell me about this page of swords. For all signs. Yeah, death. And we got some money. Okay, so some money coming in. Somebody about to come into some money. That's what it looked like. So. Somebody has been saving money though. With this some money card. There's like a safe that was like open. Someone could have been like saving money. So we have misfortune and we got fidelity that came out too. So someone could have lost out on some money too, but I feel like maybe there was some type of like misfortune event or something um, that's showing up here with this page of swords. But let me see. Tell me more about this page of swords. Oh, okay. Yeah, this energy keeps showing up here. This jealousy card. What in the world? Why is this showing up here? Why does jealousy card keep showing up for all signs? Either that, with this jealousy card, cause oh, um, it's like looking on the outside in. People are gonna be jealous about it. Keeps showing up. I'm tired of reading it. People are gonna be looking at this connection or some type of like partnership for somebody. Um, yeah, marry me, and we got some money. Someone's about to marry into some money. With this merriment card and um some money that's showing up but it's almost like someone could be trying to ask for some money too with this five of swords that's coming out this is like someone yeah someone's angry tell me more about this five of swords we got judge and we got sweetheart Someone's judging someone's, um, some type of connection. It is not like a good judge type of situation. It's like someone's very judgmental. They have a lot to say about some type of connection or something that's, some, that's some, something that is changing for someone. It's like you're about to come into some really good fortune or great fortune. It could definitely be financially for someone and they're going to be like judging you, but really it's like they're mad. And they could have lost out on some things too. It's almost like the tables are turning with this misfortune card because it's like someone who's spying or they could be like gossiping too. Whole time, like their whole world is crumbling down and I'm not trying to be funny about that. I try not to like laugh at certain things like that, y'all. And it's just, that's just me. It's like, I'm not going to do that because you know, it could be anybody. But, and if that does happen, if you do hear about someone's like misfortune, it's like someone who could have done you wrong. It could be anybody. It's like, don't laugh at that because that could be you too. I just need 14.44 on my timer. But yeah, it's like their whole world is crumbling down. 
and then um, they're looking at your situation as something like stable. It's like you got you're in, um you with your um divine counterpart and all that, and it's like well that could definitely cause some type of anger or like resentment as well, like jealousy, envy. So yeah, that's pretty much what the energy is giving right now. Wow. Tell me about this judge card. Yeah, thief, and we got widow. So wow. Judgment is being called though on see the tables are turning. The wheel is wow. So it's like depending on what you've been doing to other people in the past like five years, I guess you can say. I don't know. But you know how it's like the energy of um basically it's like karma. And with this five of swords that's showing up here too, it's like, hey, what type of actions have you been, or how how have you been treating other people? With this five of swords, this is someone who has, um, basically they receive some type of victory over their enemies. It's like an open victory or something like over their enemies with this five of swords. Cause there's like two people in the back. So I feel like the tables are turning. You see how their backs are turned? So yeah. Wow, that's pretty much what's showing up here, y'all. I know it's kind of giving the same type of energy, but just take it how it resonates. It's for somebody. Maybe this has not happened yet for a lot of people, but it's coming in. It's just like kind of telling you like where things are going to be at and some things to watch out for too. Because I feel like someone's going to be saying some slick stuff with this Five of Swords that's showing up. And it's almost like they could be um trying to, it's like in a sense, they could be trying to steal someone's like fortune it got something to do with money and it's only because they're mad they're upset and with this eye like this con i forgot how to say it but this eye it's like a lot of eyes on somebody who has um elevated or they're in their like nine of pentacles era where you do look wealthy like you look like you got it going on but you've worked hard for it too so yeah that's pretty much what's showing up here and i hope that it resonates i'll see y'all in the next read. <clears throat>